Okay, doggy. Ready? Morning. I shaved. Last night, and I had my first kind of dream. I uh, made it to the big leagues. Okay, the NHL. I woke up and was wildly disappointed that I'm here. Just kidding. It's actually a very good thing, because that means my brain is actually starting to cleanse itself to some degree if I am having dreams. So, good time. All right. How was your breakfast? Mm -hmm. Yummies? Yum yums? Buh. I don't know. Is that Riley? <laughs> okay, so one thing I definitely will be drinking a lot of this week is tea. I only have this like Dreamland herbal tea, I'm not gonna lie. The last time I had this, I drank too much and my guts weren't so good. So, just freshly showered. I dropped my brand new camera for the first time, so off to a chipper start today. But it's almost like when you get a new phone or something, you're super, like, almost scared to use it. So dropped it full on off the counter. Uh, I lost like 10 minutes of recording because whatever, I don't know what's going on, but still works, so call that a win. Okay, I'm pretty tight on time here. A little, it's a gong show in here right now. I hate how dirty it is in here right now. So today's gonna be, honestly, kind of organizing, getting my life together a little bit here. Hoping to have oatmeal, but again, just tight on time. So, zero that out. Five grams, it's half a cup of milk. 40 grams of blueberries. Protein powder. Room, so I'll put the other 125 grams in. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm just flustered right now. I got too many things on the go. My house is a mess. I don't like this right now. Okay, so this is just a quick little pre workout. Put macros and whatnot in later, but uh, apologies for the chaos because that'll. This is just too much. Oh, good fun. Hey, at least one of us is happy about this. Hey, what do you think? Oh yeah, chaos. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna take you through the workout today. So, I went in today with pretty low expectations. Also, this is my client, Kelsey. Uh, she's been with me for roughly four years now. Uh, at this point, we've just become really good friends, and for those who follow me on Instagram, I really wasn't training very adamantly or at least consistently in any way shape or form for the last I mean year realistically So the last six weeks I've actually just started lifting with Kelsey again. We FaceTime three times a week throughout the pandemic uh, We've just become really close friends at this point her and her husband Mike is in the red shirt there and uh, Yeah, so I mean I didn't go into today with high expectations, but it was arguably the worst workout I've had in well, I mean, in the last six weeks of training relatively consistently, easily the worst. I know I should have gone in with no expectations, let alone low expectations. But right here, I'm missing a weight that I literally warm up with and I have not missed in arguably years. So part of me really wanted to actually just take that out and not show that. But if I'm trying to be as realistic about this vlogging as possible, uh, this is what it is. So. When you are experiencing what I'm going through right now, um, whether it be from caffeine or the combination of caffeine and other substance, which for the record, I did not expect to be this irritable. Um, I know it's just been a bit of a chaotic day as I've mentioned a few times now, but whew, 
I am uh, I'm pretty testy right now. So I am really hoping the lack of caffeine really helps my sleep this week. Like I know I'm, again, I slept a little bit last night and starting to feel a little bit better, but oof, like that was just an awful snatch. Like these are, don't get me wrong. I'm, mo I'm a very, very, very amateur lifter, but this was like, oof. I think you can't see it here. Well, maybe you do actually at the very end. I just, yeah, you say, I, well, I, anytime I'm in the gym, I have to cut the music too, or I have to cut the volume just because of the copywriting issues with YouTube. So yeah, you won't see it. Well, maybe you'll see it here, but you won't hear it where I'm saying F this. <laughs> I'm effing done. So then we went and did some grip strength stuff. Uh, it was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, Danger Dan living up to his reputation, but he actually ends up catching the 45 here. He did kind of cheat a little bit, but I'm still pretty impressed. Ooh. <laughs> From there, Kelsey and I went into some snatch push press into inverted rows. I didn't film all the sets just because, uh, well, I'm not going to lie. I'm very, I'm exhausted right now. And again, I'm pretty irritable. I think it's actually mainly the caffeine, but uh, just those three exercises today. Fresh bone, yeah, happy dog. And shout out to my landlord, Kayla, for these Ireland chocolates. Apparently they're pretty tasty. Okay, it's almost 3 p.m. Your boy is Jones in. I also feel so dumb. I've tried to respond to a few clients today. All my vo all my clients I respond to via voice note. I don't really like texting, to be honest. Well, oh, I, I cannot find my words to say the life of me. So, thankfully, shout out to my client, Caitlin. Not the same Caitlin from yesterday. I actually have three Caitlin clients right now. But shout out to Caitlin Skulak, who also happens to own Freed Souls Coffee. And she hooked a brother up with some decaf. So I'm gonna have myself a nice little decaf. More so just to kind of satisfy the the need to have some coffee. Well, coffee. Um, hopefully this is, I don't know. I think decaf means that it's got zero caffeine, hopefully. Um, I mean, either way, it's gonna be a substantial drop in uh, caffeine, so. I also need to figure out some sort of camera setup for my kitchen because this is not optimal for you YouTube viewers. Thankfully, uh, I don't know if the workout helped it, but the appetite is slowly starting to come back a little bit here. So I'm gonna have this decaf coffee. I'm gonna make some, uh, just some, I'm just heat up some frozen blueberries, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, get a little protein, a little bit of micronutrients and some fiber here, but yeah, one day at a time. Pretty straightforward, honestly. I always stick with frozen veggies and frozen fruit. Just it's so much cheaper. It lasts longer. It's there's nothing wrong with it. So I don't know. When people think that you only need to buy fresh fruit veggies, you definitely don't. Uh, I just do this. I weigh it out beforehand, and then I put it in the microwave quickly, heat it up for 20, 30 seconds, and then I put my cottage cheese and my Greek yogurt in. Okay, so that was 130 grams. I didn't realize that this bowl was that small. Give it a little mixy mix. From there, we're gonna go. 125 grams. Why people have beef with cottage cheese? I guess when people have issues with texture and aversions to texture, I get it. That's, this is like, I don't know, probably 10 years ago. I had a client say that it looked like syphilis. And I was like, I mean, thankfully I've never had syphilis, so I wouldn't know, but yeah. I could see if you had syphilis and it did look like that, then uh, yeah, I'd be deterred from eating that. I'm gonna go 175 of the Greek yogurt. So that's 160 right there. So one little trick with this too is a lot of times people go, what, you know, 175 on the dot and then they go like this. That's an extra 15, 20 grams right there. If you do that a couple times throughout the day, 
periodically, that adds up massively over the long run. So make sure you're conscious of that. So we can Mix her all up. Sometimes I like to put a little cinnamon on here. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Okay, super easy peasy. This is 30 grams of protein. Again, I'll put all the macros at the end of the day. I will track these after. I don't recommend that, by the way. But I'm literally videoing my day. So I, I can literally go back and watch the video of my day and pick this out accurately. Uh, that's one thing that they've actually done a few studies on is post-data tracking. It is very, very common to underestimate what you actually ate in a day. Especially for someone that works in an office or something like that, where it's like, you know, people are bringing in snacks, people are bringing in trays and this and that. And it's very easy to add an extra one, two, three, four, five hundred calories in a day. Being that one off here and there isn't a big deal, but if you're trying to lose weight, you need to be aware that 300 calories a day, six, nine, 12, 15, it adds up very quickly. In a month's time, you're consuming easily three, four, five thousand calories more than you actually think you are. So be conscious of your choices. Or just vlog your whole life, I and mean, then you'll have proof of everything. Also, I have sensitive teeth, and I don't know how the contrast of this hot decaf coffee and these cold berries and Greek yogurt is going to go. So, this could be interesting. I know it's not real coffee, but hey, it uh, right now it's satisfying the craving, so I'm going to call it a win. I'm gonna eat this, and then I gotta head back to the gym for a client, and then do some video feedback. Yesterday she found a shark, today it's a shoe. Had a girl. Our time at the gym. Okay, Caitlin. So only thing I really want to focus on with this one is trying to keep your shoulder blades planted to the bench. Right now, as you're coming up, you're letting your torso kind of come forward with it, almost getting a little bit of like an ab crunch in there. I want you to plant, so you might have to actually squeeze your butt, extend your hips. This way you can firmly plant those shoulders to the bench, so that way when you're coming back, you're getting a big stretch in those lats and then pulling over with those lats as well. But you don't need to follow it with your torso. Top notch. Okay, folks, it's about seven o'clock. I am gonna wrap it up for the day here. I'm just gonna put this last little clip in. Uh, I'll put my final calories for the day. Uh, I ended up eating that full thing from Caleb. So that was an extra 600 calories, but uh, obviously calories are still pretty low. I'm just happy to be getting somewhat of an appetite back. I truthfully though, I cannot believe how hard it is to speak today. Uh, hopefully decaf isn't cheating. I don't know if it is, you can call me on it. Please do in the comments actually. Call me on it in the comments whether I did or I didn't. Uh, if you've watched these videos, if you like these videos, please just like leave like a thumbs up, leave like a comment of some sort. I know it helps the algorithm a ton. As mentioned, like I can't even remember the last time I took a break from caffeine. So it's pretty crazy. Like I do have the headaches going on right now. I got a little bit of the shakes going on. I don't feel as irritable. This morning was just pure chaos. So I don't know. It was just overwhelming. I did do a little, just cleaned up the floor and things a little bit today because it was just scattered and one of my favorite authors Gabor Mate talks a lot about your living situation whether it be your kitchen your room your house in general if it's scattered there's a good chance that your brain is going to be scattered along with it so here's a little fun tip for you and hopefully in a few days I will be able to actually add some value other than just showing you what my day-to-day -day looks like I do kind of want to turn this into somewhat of a mini podcast, almost daily, just having like a five to 10 minute window where I come on and I put out some sort of value. I think right now it's more so the habit side of things and just getting used to filming things on a regular basis. It's a big thing I try to focus on with any of my content, whether it be on here or Instagram or whatever. I do like to educate people as much as possible, which in theory will be much easier when I can articulate words. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Okay, I need to end this now. Please have a fantastic night and I will see you tomorrow.